hello and welcome to the next video and so in this video we'll set up the stride warping for our locomotion system and so in the previous video we have set up the orientation warping so similarly in the same way we'll set up the stride warping functionality so whenever our speed decreases the stride length also changes depending on the speed so for that uh, i'll search for stride warping node and for the properties for setting up the properties first thing that i uh, do is set the evaluation mode to graph so if you haven't seen my previous video i, I really i highly suggest you to watch the previous video where i set up the orientation warping functionality in that video i'll uh, discuss how the evaluation mode between how the evaluation mode works between manual and graph so in our uh, let's discuss uh, it here so let's discuss after the uh, when this video ends so here is our stride warping so first we need to do is set up the properties so first is set the, uh, setting up the pelvis bone so here is our pelvis bone and for the ik foot root bone so similarly uh, same as we have set up the ik bones functionality in our previous video where i have uh, discussed in detail that what if we don't have any ik bones available in our in our skeleton or in our animation how to fix that so in that video in orientation warping video i have discussed the importance of virtual bones so in that video i have I've all, um, discussed i've discussed how to use these virtual bones and how to set up, uh, set that up so i highly suggest you to watch my previous video in order to properly understand this video this stride warping functionality properly so as we don't have any ik bones animating or any ik bones available in our skeleton we need to use the virtual bones so for for doing that ik foot root bone uh, i'm use my i'll use my virtual bone root and the for foot definitions and uh, i'll add two properties one for my right foot and one for left foot so for ik foot bone for foot right will have the pb foot r and fk foot bone will have the foot r and for the thigh bone we have the pi underscore r Mm, this one so here is our right foot right leg functionality uh, properties similarly we need for our left leg so for ik foot bone i'll set the vb foot l and fk foot bone will be my foot l and for thigh bone uh, we'll use thigh l all right so now we have the stride warping is properly set up so let's discuss the evaluation more so if i change it back to manual and here you can see we need to manually calculating our current stride direction and stride scale so let's change the stride scale to 1.5 So as you can see, if I am moving in X direction, my stride length changes because we need to calculate the stride direction manually. So that's why I am using the manual. Instead of using manual, I'm using the graph mode. So in our graph mode, we don't need to use, we don't need to calculate the locomotion uh, direction and the scale of our stride length so we just need to put the speed value right speed value and the all of the remaining functionality or the direction and how much stride scale should be will be calculated uh, in inside the node internally because we have set this to evaluate in graph mode 
so now if i put the locomotion speeds we have already available so if i'm putting the speed over here and inside our stride scale modifier we need to clamp use enable clamp result and interrupt result so if i enable the clamp result min and max is one so let's check this so if i if i'm moving you can see my stride length changes uh, because my speed is really low see it depends on so instead of uh, if i if i'm using in manual i need to calculate the direction manually i need to put my stride scale manually so that's why it's not a suitable solution so i'll put it to graph mode and just put the speed that's it and in the properties panel you can see you can also change the clamp results so i'll set the clamp minimum to 0.5 maximum to <coughs> 1.5 and you can also change the interrupt speed increase or decrease and you can also uh, play around with different properties with flow, uh, flow normal gravity reduction but uh, the default properties would work fine for 90 percent for 90 percent cases so here you can see the stride length changes based on my based on my a speed and here you can notice also one, uh, the other thing that when i start moving my legs uh, my legs are uh, the leg strides changes and this is because our orientation warping this is because of our orientation warping so if i disable that you can see there is no mm. longer our mm. uh, orient our leg sliding issue so we'll fix this issue orientation warping and stride warping issues but you can uh, you can fix it on your own uh, the uh, one solution would be to set the alpha whenever you start the uh, start moving you just set the orientation warping to zero and when you are in a cycle state you can change the uh, alpha to one so that's for later we'll fix that uh, in our com upcoming videos so that's it for this video guys i hope you like this one and i'll see you in the next one thanks